Hey homos, welcome back to our channel. Here we are, back for another episode of Helpful mm -hmm. Homos, where we answer your questions, your emails, your yep. quandaries. Well, we discuss. We discuss them. We offer our help as if we're your mates, because yeah. we feel like your internet mates. So. Yeah, and we're not qualified to give you, you know, we're not psychotherapists or anything no. like that. Although I feel like we are as wise, like just from... Just from life. The University of Hard Knocks. Yeah, I think I'm good at advice. <laughs> Why did your voice go so hard? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. No, I do think, I. well, let's put it this way. I don't think I'm good at advice. I just love giving advice. Like to my friends. Nosey. To, I'm, Nosey. I love a good natter, you know, like pour yourself a cup of coffee. Let's just have a chit chat about deep things. I love it. Oh, how very un-British. <laughs> Well, actually, I say deep things, not deep things, about goss. Like, I love the goss. Oh. Like, what's going on? So, nosy. Nosy. I'm a nosy person. <laughs> this week, we have a letter from someone called Peter. 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 So, Peter says... It's always better when Joel reads them, isn't it? <sighs> well, I'm a voiceover artist, darling. Oh, boy. Although our cleaner last week was like, he was in the office uh, chatting, chatting away to his clients, and the door was shut. And the cleaner was cleaning the glass on our stairs and I was up there with her and she was like, oh, I could listen to his voice all day. And I was like, what? And she was like, I just love it. It's his like, voice is just like, oh. Silk. Yeah, and I was like, hey, I'm the voiceover artist. <laughs> 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 uh, you do have a lovely voice. Thank you. Right. Thank you. My name is Peter and I have currently been in a relationship for the last six months, but my boyfriend moved overseas to America for work for a little while about a month ago, whilst I still stay in South Africa where we are both from. We discussed beforehand how we're going to handle things like communication and plans to visit each other when we can, but recently it seems like he's not doing the effort like I am. Sending voice messages as regularly as I can without disturbing him while working and sending him photos of things I've been up to whilst he has been gone. Nothing like that has been done from his side and he has been quite quiet for more than a week now. Should I start to worry if he's had a change of heart and try discussing it with him or leave it because it's just his work getting in the way and the time difference? Really love you guys in the podcast. It would mean the world to me if you can maybe help me out in any shape or form so that I know what to do or think. Interesting old Peter. I think a couple of things here. So I think especially when you're in different time zones, you, you have to get away from this idea of it's a lot more difficult to have communication where you go talk 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 yeah. talk because it's like good, real time the, the, that's the word mm -hmm. real time talk 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 talk, talk. talk. Um, that's that's why i keep you around yeah <laughs> good um so yeah difficult to have real time talk be because there's a limited time where you're, you're overlapping especially when people have got work and things like that so something to remember when someone sends a message is that we don't have to reply automatically Mm. We don't have to reply instantly. No. And that doesn't mean... It's really easy to overread into things like yeah. that. And it doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, you know, mm -hmm. if someone was to message and then not get back for five hours... People are busy, right? People people got shit going on. Yeah. When there's a week, a week gone, that is bullshit, yeah. frankly. It's clearly upsetting you. And I think you're well within your rights to say, what's, what's going on here? Definitely. If I'm going to share a personal example for us. Not because I think that we are the textbook relationship that you should aspire to, but just because that's my experience and that's all I can speak from, is that six months into our relationship, no matter where you've gone, if you'd moved for work or whether you were away for a weekend, if you hadn't texted me for an entire day, by that point, I would have been like, that's something's a bit weird because six months into our relationship would have been like November and I was going to move in here two months later. Like we were so like mm. far. And that obviously doesn't mean that your six month relationship is going to be the same as ours. But again, just from my personal experience, if someone hadn't, yeah, if my partner hadn't messaged me for a week, I'd be like, something's definitely wrong. Like let alone, I'd be like after a day for us, not for someone that I was casually dating, you know, I would give them a couple of days, but at six months. Yeah, I think if you're in an invested relationship so much so that you've had a conversation before you go your separate ways about yeah. how we're going to communicate mm -hmm. and then that has just gone by the wayside, mm -hmm. it's poor form. It is. At best. Yeah. And it's calculated at worst. Now, it probably falls somewhere in between there. Yeah. Because, but the it's definitely something that you should bring up and you're well within mm -hmm. your rights to do that. Yeah, because let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it is just because he's super busy getting used to a time zone difference. Maybe he's a bit homesick or any of those things. You still need to have the conversation and be like, well, this for me isn't 
like sustainable to not talk for a week I, I understand why but please from my perspective we need to communicate a bit yeah. or at least you need to like tell me that I might you know not be free to chat for the next couple of days just just be communicative basically yeah and also if you know voice notes are important to you then let him know that mm -hmm. I personally I hate voice notes mm -hmm. I hate receiving voice notes he loves giving them I love I don't mind giving <laughs> them but I feel like I'm concise when I do a voice note yeah people waffle if that's your jam then explaining that and obviously maybe he doesn't like doing them whatever there's there's obviously a breakdown in communication mm -hmm. I think just getting clear on what your idea of an acceptable like I won't be bothered if Joel didn't message me back on the same day if we were in different places and we were doing you know if he was away with his friends or on a work thing or whatever but I think after you start getting into two days three days especially with your long term partner yeah. it's it's just a bit odd behaviour yeah you'd frankly. want that communication like even when we do spend days apart we'll still text each other goodnight or go how was your day like we might not have been texting throughout the day but they're still like a check in with each other. Yeah, yeah. And I would be concerned, like, like Keegan might not care if I don't text him for a day. I would care if he didn't text me for the day. Like, not needs. It doesn't need to be a long thing, but I'd expect a phone call or care. a little check in at the end of. And, and you do when we're apart. I would care. Good, but uh, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? And that, again, that's not to say that we've got the perfect. Like, da, 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 no, it's just that from our perspective, it's what it's what works for you and what yeah. is happening currently is clearly not working. No. And you're well within your rights to say, dude, 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 pal, this isn't, this is not currently working. Yeah. And this is why. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. And you, you open up a conversation. It sounds like you've got that already. The fact that you've had conversations before yeah. you've left. And I think that kind of adds to the feeling of disappointment because mm. you've had that and felt like you've been proactive, felt like you're doing the right thing. Yeah. And then it's not happened. Yeah. And so an expectation has been set but not met. Uh, and I think that definitely plays into things. Well, what's going on? Because if you'd have gone into this situation and not had that conversation, you could put it down to that. Yeah. But I think because you've done that, that's why mm. there's more alarm bells going yeah. in your head because we've covered this yeah. and it's still being ignored. So why would that be the case? Yeah. As opposed to, oh, that's my fault we didn't talk about it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. But don't guilt trip yourself for going, oh, maybe I'm needy. Maybe I just need to, like you said in your question, maybe he's just busy with work and getting settled. Well, yeah. No, I mean, there's no a one's that busy. There's a, yeah, there's a difference between messaging someone every hour and saying, yeah. well, they're not getting back to me because that is needy. And, I, and yeah. someone would be well within the right to say, of course. back off. But, you know, if someone's messaging once a day yeah. to check in and see how you are mm. or are you, are you available do you want to jump on a call yeah. or how you do it voice note how you doing what's been going on how's mm. it going with your new friends and all that kind of stuff yeah, um, yeah it doesn't sound it, there's something off about it I'm afraid in my eyes Peter but you'll have to get to the bottom of it by having a chat mm. yeah and you're well within you, you're well within your rights and long distance is Long distance is also tough. Yeah. There's, there's lots of things that come into play with a long distance relationship, especially mm. over different time zones as well. So yeah. it's not easy what you're doing. Um, so there's going to be rocky bits. And yeah. There's going to be, uh, you know, figuring things out for on both sides. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with good communication and boundaries, you'll be, you'll be able to figure it out. Yeah, definitely. Like Ian said, you seem to have all the tools available to you. You seem like a well-rounded person. Open and honest communication seems to be your jam. So, yeah. Just keep going with that. You can't go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Let you guys let us know what you think about Peter's situation. Um, if you think there's anything we've missed or if you yeah. agree or disagree, um, drop it in the comments below. And mm -hmm. if you want to send your queries, questions, problems in to us for Helpful Homos, then the address is hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. Yeah. And if you'd like some perks from us, we now have a Patreon page. We have three different tiers available. You can get things such as a free mug, Happy Healthy Homer mug from us. You can get early access to our podcast episodes. Ad um, free, ad free. Ad free, you get first dibs on any of our tickets to live events that we may or may not be doing at some point this year. Yeah, if you are in the UK and would like to go to a live Happy Healthy Homo uh, show, mm. then let us know what cities you are in. Yeah, because we... or you'd be willing to fly to if you're not <laughs> from, <laughs> yeah. from the UK. Yeah, yeah, let us know in the comments. Send us a DM, anything. Because we want to get as many of you guys there as we can. Yeah. So let us know. And we'll see you next week, guys. Thank you for watching. Chat Subscribe. To you soon. Chat to you soon. Bye. Bye.